Hey y'all, so I was inspired by a video Lauren May recently put up, which is the products I want to use up by 2018. I, like many of us in this community, created a list of the products I wanted to use up this year. That was way back at the beginning of 2017. I had 15 items on that list, and it was a lot less than I had the previous year before, but I also had a lot bigger items. Like I had palettes on there, my Lorac Pro Metal and Pro Matte, which I used up months ago. I don't even know, March, April, something like that. So as of now, I only have two items remaining on that list, and I felt like that could use a little bit of rejuvenation because I tend to do well when I know which things I want to focus on. And of course, if any of these I don't finish or declutter by the end of the year, they will probably immediately go on to next year's list or next year's project pants. So I'm updating that list with y'all here today, and I'll show you the two items that I haven't used up yet. Right off the bat, you probably know one of them, and that is my Franken palette. I have been working on this very consistently since the beginning of the year, although recently I've kind of lost touch with it. I just haven't been that into it. But at the beginning of the year, this was my depotted palette, and it included 20 eyeshadows. I have seven left now. I have used up a couple, but more than that, I've decluttered a lot, just I've realized I had dupes, etc. So I want to continue working on it, either panning it, using up these shades, or decluttering them as I see fit. So we will see what happens. I would really, it's not gonna happen. I know it's not. I know not every single shade is gonna be gone by the end of the year, but if I could just use up a couple more, it would feel really good. And then the only other product that remained from that list at the beginning of the year was this Bite Beauty Matte Lip Pencil in Pastille. I had this in either a project pan or a makeup basket for a while. I know I worked on it. There's only about half of it left. It's getting older. I need to use it up, although not incredibly old. I don't think it's even a year old yet, but I just don't like old lip products. And the thing is, it's very much a winter color for me, like very purpley, very deeper shade. It's not something I really want to wear in the summer. And so I haven't touched it since the weather got warm, probably like in April. And I probably won't touch it here soon, but when it does get cooler again this winter months, I definitely want to focus on this and get it used up. I love it, I do, but I just don't like shit hanging around for years. So let's now go in the order that I do my makeup. I do only have one kind of priming product. I have a primer that I know is gonna be gone by the end of the year, but it's not really, it's just gonna go on its own. It's not something I really feel like I need to put pressure on to use up. The one I do wanna use up is the Pure Make It Matte Stick. This is one of those, I don't know, kind of oil blotting sticks or whatever, supposed to be used under or over makeup. I would never use it over makeup, but I found I actually do really enjoy it as a primer in my T-zone. It mattifies and it also kind of pore fills and blurs. Now I've only used it like four or five times and it goes really, really quickly. So I don't know if the value's there for this product. I wouldn't repurchase it. It was sent to me. I wouldn't spend my money on it, um, but I do like it. I do feel like it has a purpose and so I do want to go ahead and use it up. And then the only other priming product is an eye primer. This is the NARS Pro Prime Eyeshadow Base. I've been working on it for a while, but eye primers take a long time to use up. I would be very, very happy if I could get this out of my collection by the end of the year. Very much like it, but don't want NARS in my collection anymore. But I spent a lot of money on this stuff, so I do want to use it up. So concealers are an absolute nightmare. I have way, way too many. The good thing is I use up concealers very, very quickly. So I have two more NARS products. These are both the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Actually really, really enjoy it. Again, F NARS. So I have two different shades, Light 2 Vanilla and Light 2 Creme Brulee. And the good thing is I use this really quickly, like all concealers. Even though it's potted, I hit pan in there really, really quick. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I really don't, but I would really, really like these gone at the end of the year. I also have my LA Girl Pro Conceal Corrector in Peach. I like this product, but again, I've had it for a while. It just, I like to move stuff out. I don't want stuff hanging around year after year after year. And then I have three other tubed concealers. Now all of these are cruelty free, so if I can use up the NARS ones first, I'd be happy. But ever since I got those, these have been on the back burner, so if I could use up all of them, that would be really great. I have the Too Faced Born This Way in Fair. Used to always use this on my under eye, very much like it. Tubed concealers like this, I can go through, if I've been using it, it's like halfway gone, month and a half, you know, once you start focusing on it. If it's brand new, probably about three months. 
Then I have a Kat Von D Locket in the shade L9 Neutral, a little bit of a winter shade for me, but I can already see space through it, so I went through the first one of these really quickly. And then I just recently got this little sample size, which is more of a summer color in L11 Neutral. So do you want to use both those up too? So foundation is kind of a hard one because I do foundation Fridays and so I end up with a lot of foundations coming in. And even if I just like, oh, I like it, I want to hang on to it because I paid money for it, right? Um, but I just end up with way, way too many foundations. And I'm starting to find foundations that I absolutely love and I'd rather just get down to those. Maybe I need to take a break from foundation Fridays for a while because unless I just hate a foundation that I tried, I end up keeping it. So I have too many foundations. One that y'all know I want to get out of my life by the end of the year. This is in my project progress. It's the Lancome Tante Idole in 350 Bisque C. I'm right, right about halfway done with it. But I used up another bottle of this earlier this year and it, it takes a while. It really does. Now for powders, I do have an under eye setting powder. This is actually the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder, not a Laura Mercier one. Just the container was better. So I'm down, I put like three of the e.l.f. containers in this one and I'm probably down to about one now because I've been working on this. Want to go ahead and get this out. Then for face powders, I was a little bit on the fence because I have my Soap and Glory one heck of a blot, which I already have pan on. This one's my favorite powder. It will probably definitely be gone soon-ish because I just love to use it. Um, but I don't know that that's really a qualify, should I put it in here for that? Because it's probably going to go anyways, you know? And I would really want to go purchase it again as soon as I finish it up. So I either need to declutter other powders that I have or I need to use them up or something. I don't know. One that I'm kind of on the fence on is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Neutral Beige. I actually do very much like it, but the shade match is just, it's a little bit too dark for me um, to match me in the winter at my lightest, and so I should be using it now, but it's actually a little bit too light, and it's just not, I'm not going to pick it over my one heck of a blot, and so I just need to make a decision on this or use it up. Then for bronzers, one I definitely know I want to use up by the end of the year is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the bronzer shade. Actually really, really do like this and I'm using it today because it seems like every single other bronzer breaks me out. So I don't know if I need to return my Ciate one or what. Don't really think that's gonna be a problem. I'll use it up. Love it in the winter, definitely do. Another product y'all know I'm working on is my Becca Afterglow palette. I'll give you a little little sneak peek of my progress getting really close on rose gold hit pan on topaz and moonstone these blushes they're going to be difficult but i just want to see how much i can use up of this by the end of the year in fact i think this is the oldest product in my collection now i think it is because i bought this in 2015. now any other blushes or highlighters outside of that becca palette it's going to be hard to use up because they just take a long time to begin with so i'm going to mention these but who knows what's going to happen this one is the sephora birthday gift the tarte blush and party really really like it hit pan because I dragged my finger in there, but I've got a lot of good use on it regardless. I like using up the birthday gifts each year when I get them, so I would like to use this up, but I do love it. It's actually, I feel like it was a little bit light for me the last time I used it. It looked a little bit chalky while I had a tan, but who knows? Love it the rest of the year. And then this one is the Laura Geller French Vanilla. Again, I'm going to be focusing on those other highlighters first, so who knows if I'll get to this, but I have made a, like, you can't really see the dome on it anymore. I've made a ton of progress in it. I love it. But this is, besides the Becca Afterglow palette, this is, like, the only other oldest product that I have. So since I've made so much progress on it, you know, I want to I wanna finish it up. So for brows, I just have my Wander Beauty pencil, the Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil in dark brown. I prefer the Tarte one. I still do. Uh, so I just want to want to go ahead and use this one up. I have an Anastasia brow powder that I'd really like to use up more because I prefer pencil, but that thing's going to take years. It's just so pigmented. Um, so I want to use this up and go back to my Tarte pencil instead. And then this product is representative of all the mascaras I have. This is a It Cosmetics superhero lash. I have four mascaras like open right now and they, they will be gone. I use that mascara but that bothers me and so this is a representative of that. 
Last two products are lip products. Now, of course, I have the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Pencil in Pastille, but this is my only other NARS product. So I have four in my collection that I want to use up. This is NARS Chelsea Girls. This is relatively new. I bought it not long before they went non-cruelty free. And so I don't know if it's going to be gone. Lip gloss and this full... Who knows? And then this is a little Tarte Mini and Set Sale, which I actually very much like. I've been really enjoying using it, but it's just a little, little mini baby lipstick that I could use up pretty easily, and it's a neutral shade. I just, I like to use stuff like this up. All right, y'all, that is my updated list for products that I want to use up before 2018. Who knows? you know, who knows what's going to happen. I may put them in like my project progress, makeup baskets. This is probably not a project that I'm going to continue to update. I probably will put them in projects, but those are more that I want to use up. Like I said, I did really good the first half of the year. We'll see how I continue to do, especially now that I'm doing a no buy for September. That's when you make really good progress when you stop bringing stuff in and just like for a month focus on what you already have, you would be amazed at, at what you can actually use when you're not just every day trying something new. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in two days in my next video. Don't ever forget, it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. Love y'all. Bye.